Consider the deanery or decimal number represented by the digits 4, 6, 0, 8. You'll remember from primary school that each of these digits has a place value associated with it. So on the far right, we've got our ones column. Then moving towards the left, we've got our tens, our hundreds, and our thousands. You'll notice that each place value increases by a factor of 10 as we move towards the left. And what this means is that we can also represent the place values as powers of 10. So we've got our 10 to the 0 column, or our 1s. You remember that any number raised to the power of 0 equals 1. Then we've got our 10 to the 1, or our 10s column, our 10 to the 2, or our 100s column, then our 10 to the 3, or our 1000s column. And because we can represent each place value, as a power of the base 10. This is the reason we call deanery or decimal a base 10 number system. And you'll see that when we look at other number bases, their place values are all powers of their base. Now, in order to find the value represented by the number 4608, all we have to do is multiply each digit by its place value. So we get four lots of a thousand, and six lots of a hundred, and zero lots of ten, and eight lots of one. And by adding these numbers together, 4,000 plus 600 plus zero plus eight, we get the value of our number 4608, which we say as 4,608. Now all of this may seem pretty obvious to you, but you'll find that we can use the same ideas we've talked about here to find the value of any number in any base.